Denise the Patricianist and I am back and today we are talking about booty specifically mom bum and what to do about it and what happened what what does this mom bum come from and why do you have it so if uh, you are like me which I happen to have in my uh, after my first baby my butt just totally disappeared it totally shrank after having my baby and I'm thinking what the heck happened where did my butt go not that I had a big Kardashian booty before, but like it was there and now it's flat as a pancake and soggy and what the heck. So it's not your fault, but here is what has happened. Over the nine months that you're growing a belly, a baby belly, um, your belly is getting big and heavy and heavy and you start to lean forward. So our bodies are smart and saying, obviously you don't want to fall over. So our body kind of leans back, tucks our bum under and a lot of times it end up gripping those glutes and those muscles are really tight and tense and after we have our babies it hasn't changed right that's kind of our new posture our body thinks that's our new normal and we need to get rid of that new normal so if you are um how to know if you're one of these people who are gripping your butt unknowingly um if you take a look at your butt in the mirror maybe like you know kind of do a turnaround maybe you need to snap a selfie of it get your hubby get somebody else to snap a picture of your butt with pants on what does it look like? Um, if it looks like you have a wedgie or uh, if you have kind of like an apple shaped bum, then chances are you probably have a gripped booty, a grip butt, and those muscles are really tense and tight. Yes, I'm talking about the peach, tense and tight muscles. Um, so what we're gonna do is roll out our bum muscles, our gluteus maximus, so that they can be maximized again because nobody wants a pancake bum and nobody wants to buy special pants, jeans, whatever for moms to fit their flat bums in. So here's one of my favorite ways that you can help to get your bum back, plump it up, smooth it out, and you know, just get rid of the gripping muscles, right? So that your muscles are like being uh, used as they're supposed to. And a lot of moms also who have, who are gripping their, their butt muscles are uh, also have low back pain. So if you have low back pain, this also might be um, kind of a sign, a symptom to you that maybe you are gripping your butt. Um, so check it out. Today is all about foam rolling. You're gonna learn how to foam roll. And my recommendation is to roll every other day, uh, a few times a week, to, and just do it over and over and over again. Spend, you know, not even five minutes a day, five minutes a day, and just get, roll out your booty, roll out your gluteus maximus to try and get your booty baby booty back. So I hope you uh, really learned a lot about foam rolling, how to do it, and hit me up if you have any questions. You're going to sit on the foam roller and place your hands behind you for support. You're going to take your left ankle, place it on top of your right knee, drop your left knee so now you're only on your left butt muscle, your glute, and you're going to roll up and down four times. Very slowly, so you're gonna roll one direction, inhale, roll the other direction on the exhale. So you don't wanna go really fast, you wanna go nice and slow. Then what you're gonna do after four times is you're going to choose a point on your butt where it was kinda tight and you're gonna rock back and forth side to side four times in that trigger point area. Once you're done that, you're gonna place your right ankle on your left knee, drop that right knee again, and you're going to roll up and down. Inhale, roll one direction. Exhale, roll the other direction. So you're gonna be rolling only on your right butt muscle, your right glute here. Once you've done that four times, you're gonna choose that tender area, maybe a trigger point, more um, a place you need more of a massage, and you're gonna rock back and forth four times again.